Well, here we are, Aaron. We have finally arrived at the final. It's been a slog, but we made it. This is the last of the King's Cups to be delivered. Junior middleweight, 70 kgs, roped hands. And there is the challenger, Tiago Teixeira, 33-year-old fighter from Brazil, 176 centimeters tall, with a record of 95 fights, 74 wins, 20 losses, and one draw. He's a veteran of the TIE Fight ring. He has fought here at TIE Fight four times. Now, he has lost all of those fights, besides the one that got him here versus Pascal Schrock. But, but, he's always competitive. Almost always Almost a tough always. out. He is, he is just a very, very tough fighter, and he looks gigantic, and I feel like he's one of the biggest fighters that Kitty has fought. So, Indeed. That's interesting, at Your least. Your TIE finalist, Kitty. Soto Manrayong, 22-year-old from Chantaburi province in Thailand, 182 centimeters tall. Slight height advantage for Kitty. 94 fights with 83 victories, 11 losses with zero draws. He was the 2019 Thai fight card champion at this weight. So he's going to try and make it two in a row. In the semi-final, Kitty defeated Russia's Vladimir Shuliak via a TKO in round number two. The final fight of the evening. Kitty, Soto Manrayong in the black corner from Thailand. And in the white corner, Tiago Teixeira, the grand from Brazil. As you said, Aaron, slight height advantage for Kitty. Slight chest advantage for Teixeira. What about tattoo advantage? Now that that's is a, pretty close. That's a good, I mean, Teixeira's got the spread. He's got the under the eye, which is always terrifying. But look at that. But that's a very colorful back right there. Here we go. Round one for the junior middleweight Kings Cup. Kitty going after him straight away. Teixeira fighting back as we've seen him do so many times here at Thai Fight. And head down for Kitty, just launching those right elbows, one of his favorite techniques. So we're gonna miss there from Teixeira. Kitty trying to elbow out from the clinch, but Teixeira having none of it. He's a wily veteran, is the Brazilian. Yeah, he's got that body type where you think, well, that's the kind of guy that's gonna get winded fast, but from what we've seen in the Thai Fight ring, that is not the case. Not at all. Another swing there from Teixeira, but wide of the mark. Looks like he's enjoying himself in there. Kitty not able to find the range so far. And that's down to Teixeira. Yeah, the least shocking news of the year, a man with tattoos on his scalp enjoys fighting. <laughs> oh. Just misses with the left hook there. Kitty within elbow range. Again, Kitty trying to find what happened. Rope malfunction. Ah. Oh, that's, quite a bad figured one. Out. that's a bad one as well. We haven't quite figured out the technology behind ropes yet, Aaron, in 2021. All right, here we go, back at it. Stepping knee there from Kitty. Oh, looking for that elbow. Finds yeah. the mouth of Teixeira. Teixeira caught him with a couple of right hands on the tree. Say, Kitty is loose with those fingers. Oh, stepping elbow from Kitty. Yeah, Body a, kick, right hand. It's a bit of a hectic, sloppy approach from, from Kitty, That's to be honest. how he always is, the maniac. Oh, oh so there's the elbow, though. Beautiful right elbow. I think he's bleeding. Instantly cut. Left elbow from Kitty, right elbow from Kitty. But Teixeira is still standing strong and delivers an elbow of his own. Yeah, you can see the blood. Not bad. Just Small cut on the, on the cheek. But Teixeira then connects with a left hand of his own. Oh, another right elbow from Kitty. Not sure what Teixeira was trying then. Halfway through the round, both fighters look tired, covered in blood. Incredible. I can hear, hear Teixeira's corner telling him uppercut because Kitty's moving yeah, in with his head, head forward. Head down, head, head down, down, head down. Yeah, that would be great if you could oh. follow that advice. Kitty again looking for that right elbow and he finds it for a second time. Good hands there from Teixeira blocking it. 
He is so durable out him. Ridiculous. He's missed the Teixeira on the right oh. elbow. And you can see what we were talking about, how tough Teixeira is. Weathering the storm. End of round one. What a round it was, Aaron. Enjoying themselves here at Tie Fight. Fantastic action in that first round. Just a lot of stuff like that in the clinch, in the pocket, trading blows, trading elbows. Tiago getting cut. The fight getting bloody. But he gave some as well. He definitely connected with some some short punches as Kitty just rushed in head down. Oh, beautiful right kick to the body there. Finds the mark. Oh, swing the miss there from Kitty, aiming up high. Oh, to there. Kitty recklessly jumping in one more time. Oh, oh and he caught him. This is what Kitty does. It's head down. And you know what it sort of reminds me of is the way we saw PTT coming yeah. through tie fight. Yeah, they do have a lot of similarities. He was an absolute maniac doing exactly yeah. the same what Kitty did. Finishing fights early, but there was always what that was that one fighter. He took a lot of damage. He was able to take those blows, take those shots, and find just one one punch. He ended to up drop changing PTT. his style after that. He did. And, and I, I do wonder if that's Kitty's future. Are we witnessing this right now? Oh, look at him going for that bonus. <laughs> Spinning back in. It's the first one we've seen attempted tonight. Of course, if you can throw that technique and get a knockout, you win a bunch of extra money. 100,000 baht to be precise from our sponsors at Chang. Kitty is just determined to keep this fight in the pocket. Protect share, enjoy himself. It's a great fight. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, stepping knee from Kitty, but he gets caught on the left hand and another left hand there. And again, he just rushes him. One perfectly timed uppercut, Adam, I'm telling you, Kitty's in trouble. Well, we haven't seen Teixeira throw one yet, so. Looking for that elbow. Oh, there was oh. one right there. Didn't connect, but at least the, uh, the, 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 the proper tactics right there. Left jab. Kitty slowing down a little bit, he gets oh, caught with the right hand, and right he's hand. wobbled, he's wobbled at him. Before he was clinching to be the aggressor, now he's clinching to recover. There's definitely a well there, can you see on Kitty's cheek? This is a big second round for Teixeira. We talked about it, Aaron, how tough he is. The fact that he's comfortable in the tie fight rank. We'll really see oh, all of it come together so here close for to that, in round two. So close to that spinning back elbow. Unbelievable fight so far. Definitely deserving of the top billing oh, fight of the night. That'll slow you down. Beautifully timed body shot with that kick again from Kitty. You know, in considering the age of uh, Teixeira, he's been doing Muay Thai for about, what, 10, 15 years? He's 33 years of age. I think tag in the midsection with body kicks to, to slow him down is a good tactic. You don't always have to rush in and, and risk getting knocked out for the sake of the knockout. Huge second round for Teixeira, in my opinion. You, see if you the think he could have um, snuck that round? I mean, absolutely. Look at that left hand right there. Rocked Kitty. You talked about the bruising on his cheek on the right hand. The highlights definitely support me. But, um, you know, let's be honest. Kitty probably won that round. <laughs> but uh, in my opinion, I think Teixeira stole it. I think it's 1-1. But Third and final round. I'm almost never right with the, with the scorecards here. So take it for what it's worth. One thing we did say about Teixeira is that he's durable. And my word, has he proved it? You know? Yeah, he's, he's been tremendously tough in this fight. But, I mean, realistically, if he wants to win, he's going to need at least a knockdown, if not a finish here in round three. But I really thought he turned the tables as far as momentum in that second round, Aaron, and we'll see if he can carry it, carry it over here into the third. You can see Kitty fighting a completely different fight than he was in, in round one. He likes then to try to get his opponents out early. It didn't then, work. Then we've ever seen ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely different. He now respects his opponent, his toughness, and yeah, they, I think they both do. You know, and they're both very hesitant because they know a few mistakes, you lose the round, you could lose the fight. That's a nice right hand from Kitty. Thiago putting it all on the line here. 
getting more aggressive, and I think that's a good idea. Look at that kitty again, head down. And he's been, been able to get away with it so far, Aaron, so no reason to change it, but we've seen that opening there throughout this fight. The fight is looking for that left kick. The impetus really is on Teixeira here to be the aggressor to push forward because Kitty can probably just coast here and, and win this fight. And I feel like that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. So Teixeira has to push the action. Swing and a miss there from Teixeira. Rain's really still dripping. Him. Rain's still dripping slightly. I was going to oh, say we have oh, elbow. elbow. And again, he barely moves. He's so gonna, tough. I was going to say we haven't really seen Teixeira lead the dance in this fight so far. So. He's being asked to do that here in the third, and it might not really be his his style. He's been able to counter Kitty throughout this fight, but now he has to push forward. He has to find the openings. Tense moments in this third and final round. Got hands there from Tixera. Doesn't really find the mark though. I think it might not be the most exciting stuff you've seen, but Kitty is fighting smart for the first time in this fight. He knows what he's doing. He's staying back. He's oh, just landing enough, high kick. enough round kicks to, to give him the round. Some of the best action in that round actually came after the bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. Third and final round. We're going to have to go to the judges oh, for a decision. Oh, yeah, Aaron, I think Kitty stole it, but hats off to Teixeira for a tremendous effort. เซลหรือว่าจะเป็นไทยแลนด์นะครับมาลุ้นกันครับวันนี้ด้วยผมแล้วนะครับนี่คือคู่ชิงคู่สุดท้ายที่จะได้ถ้วยพระราชทานนะ